Hi, I'm Dr. Kit Weathers, and it's time for the Root Tip of the Week. But before we get started, let's reach into the top hat for the Magic Illusion of the Week. Here's a simple, very quick trick you can do with three cups. challenge someone to make three moves, turning two cups at a time, any two cups, and make sure that at the end you wind up with all cups facing up. For example, one, two, three moves and all cups are facing up. Then you challenge the person to do exactly the same thing and they can never do it. I'll do exactly the same moves. One, two, three, but look, they wound up face down. So what's the secret? To learn the secret to this and other magic tricks in this series, go to endorootcamp.com. Well, Pulp Fiction was a very interesting movie, all right. I don't know how many of you saw it, but let's go now and talk about some dental Pulp Fiction. Well, today's Pulp Fiction says that it's impossible to eliminate unplanned referrals, and of course we know that's false. You can absolutely eliminate the stress of having to send a patient over to the endodontist after you've started the case. And how do we do that? Today I'm going to tell you about a system called endonomics or the economics of endodontics. If you take the two words endodontics and economics, split them in half and put them together, you get the word endonomics, which is a phrase that I coined about 15 years ago to refer to a series of systems for taking the stress and the mystery out of our endodontic treatment. Endonomics comes from the Greek word endon, which means within, and nomos, which translates roughly as laws or rules. So these are the rules of endonomics. We use the rules of endonomics to improve the economics of our dental practice, improve case selection, and raise fees when necessary, which also tends to lower your stress level. But the most important thing that we use endonomics for is to avoid unplanned referrals. Unplanned referrals is absolutely one of the most stressful things that can happen to you in your practice. So we're going to eliminate unplanned referrals today by a series of laws and rules. And we use this entire procedure is called endonomics. Basically what we're going to do is never schedule a root canal until we absolutely know we will be able to complete the case. This means you'll never again start something you can't finish. And the flip side of that is you're probably referring some cases that you should easily be treating. And for example, should you refer this case simply because it has a little bit of a curved root to it? Well, in this particular case the answer is yes because there's about four canals in there, but many times you can't tell just by looking. There are six basic reasons that we do not want to have to refer a patient at the last minute after we've started a root canal. Number one, the patient perceives that it's a wasted visit, and it's also an increased expense to the patient because most of the time they've taken a day off from their practice. There's a delay in getting the necessary treatment in many cases, and patients really don't like having to leave your office for treatment. There's a minimum of three to $400 lost production, and the biggest problem that you run into is the patients may question your judgment if you start something you cannot finish. So how is it possible to know which cases must be referred and which cases can be treated right in your office prior to committing to the root canal? The answer is very, very simple. If you think there's any possibility that you might have to refer the case, simply tell the patient, today I will be doing an infection control appointment and I'm going to then treatment plan a D3221. Now the pulpectomy 3221 has just changed recently. It used to be that you could not do the root canal and the pulpectomy on the same patient. You would have to do either one or the other and refer for the root canal. Now you can do them both as long as they're not done on the same day. So tell the patient you're going to do an infection control appointment and here's what you do. Open the tooth, start looking for the canals and set a timer for 15 minutes. 
when the timer goes off, if you have not located all of the canals in that 15 minutes, then simply refer the patient to the endodontist. You've done exactly what you told them that you were going to do. This will be very beneficial for both the doctor and for the patient. For example, you know you can complete the case on the next visit. The patient knows that the next treatment will be painless because they've already taken out the nerve and they know that it didn't hurt that day. So there's a greater chance that the patient will show up and you know precisely how much time to schedule for the next appointment and you're much more likely to schedule the restorative treatment at the same time. Other benefits include no surprises for the patient, no surprises on your schedule, a minimum of production of at least $200 an hour, potential to fill gaps in your schedule, second visit is extremely efficient, and it eliminates the stress of unplanned referrals. I hope you've enjoyed this root tip. See you again next week. Well, that's it for another root tip of the week. I'm Dr. Kit Weathers inviting you to register at endorootcamp.com for free videos and special reports you can't get anywhere else. Meanwhile, I will see you at our next Indo Root Camp. Thank you.